081127882 is a hard number to remember. If you chunk the number into 081127882, it's easier. Cutting large bits of information into smaller pieces helps us to understand. If we put small pieces back together, we can see the big picture and that helps us to remember. The process is called chunking. This is how it works. Our short-term memory is fast but tiny. According to learning expert Dr. Oakley, it can hold only four chunks of information at once. So when new inputs arrive, it has two ways to pick them up. First, it can overwrite and forget what it has to make space for new information. Or it can use mental effort to move a chunk from the working memory into the long-term memory, where it can be stored and remembered later. This is why it's almost impossible to recall nine digits like 08112782. There is simply not enough space. Once chunked, there is. There are several ways to chunk. You can break a larger piece into smaller bits, identify patterns, or group pieces to see the larger picture. Once a chunk is created, you can use deliberate practice to move it into your long-term memory where it connects with existing experiences. Now it can be stored for years and, if regularly used, accessed without much mental effort. To make this transfer more effective, it helps to add context, which acts like memory superglue. Great instructors always try to give you the big picture before going into detail. If you study by yourself, you can skim through your textbook first by reading chapter headlines. Learning facts without understanding the big picture is pretty useless as we will forget what we have learned very fast. Professional piano teachers first show their students the entire song so they understand the mood. Then they ask their students to practice one measure at a time. Once the part has been learned and the neural connections in the brain have been built, then students go on to the next measure. After all chunks can be played separately, they are combined until the entire piece is connected. Now the student can play the piece with less mental effort. Chunking also helps to understand complex topics, say trade between China and India. First, study China, the people, the culture and the economy. Then summarize and put what you learned in your own simple language. Repeat the process for India. Then study trade itself, the mechanics, benefits and problems. Again, simplify to form an underlying idea. At the end, you might just have summarized several books onto one napkin. Try chunking next time you feel the limits of your working memory. Just like how clever restaurants chunk their menus into starters, mains and desserts with three to four options each. With chunking, it's easy to compare our options and make a decision. If you like our videos and want to support our channel, visit us at patreon.com slash sprouts and see if you want to donate just one dollar. With your support, we plan to create many more minute videos about learning and education.